This is lesson 15 for, and the focus is which shapes are special cases of another shape. You have learned how to classify triangles. Today you will learn about special quadrilaterals. I want you to pause and think about where do you see quadrilaterals in real life? Some possibilities might be a tabletop, a billboard you would see on the side of a road, a door, or even the chalkboard in the classroom. Next, in your notebook, I'd like you to draw four different quadrilaterals. Only one may be a square, and only one may be a rectangle which is not a square. The other two should be completely different. So again, in your notebook, please pause and draw four different quadrilaterals. If you have your four quadrilaterals, now I'd like you to describe the properties of each shape. So go ahead and write down next to each shape, what are the properties? How are your shapes alike and how are they different? Please pause to do that. Here's one shape you might have drawn or have a similar one. You'll notice that this shape has exactly one pair of parallel lines. What is this shape called? This is a trapezoid because it has one pair of parallel sides. You might have also drawn a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus. All these shapes have two sets or two pairs of parallel sides. What can we call the three of these shapes? These are all parallelograms. You might also have shapes that have four 90 degree angles. What can we call both of these shapes? These are rectangles, but is there another name we could also use for them? These rectangles would also be parallelograms since they both have two pairs of parallel sides. What name would you give this shape? Most of you would probably say rhombus. However, are there any other names that could also be used for this shape? Think about its properties to determine other names that could be used. This rhombus can also be considered a parallelogram since it has two pairs of parallel sides. I'm sure you'll have no problem labeling this next shape a square. However, what other names could be used for this quadrilateral? Think about its properties. This square could also be considered a rhombus since it has all equal sides and two pairs of parallel sides a parallelogram since it has two pairs of parallel sides as well as a rectangle since it has all right angles and opposite sides are the same length. So to recap, when you're identifying quadrilaterals you do need to be careful to use the proper names based on its properties and understand that some shapes will have multiple names that fit that shape based on its properties. Please make sure you have good notes and be prepared to discuss them in class tomorrow.